Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Coming on 6.30 a.m. Monday, starting the final week of the month of June. Final week of the first half of the year. Final week of the quarter. The J.P. Morgan caller is going to be a highlight during the course of the week. I'll include it there in the email. But I wanted to start you out here with the futures. You are looking at five-day charts and as you can see over here on the Dow, we are pushing lower. We came a little bit oversold on the overnight lows. NASDAQ over here on the NQ still holding this 15,000 resistance, still holding it as support. And I'll show you that on your QQQ chart. And over here on the ES, we had a fractionally lower low overnight. All of this happening as we came into the European Open. And again, over here on your Russell, falling apart, IWM making a dip down below 180. So it was all, you know, fun and laughter about, you know, sharing those videos like from Braveheart and, you know, Die Hard 2 about what took place over in Russia. But what took place over in Russia over the weekend scared the shit out of Europe, especially over there in Germany. Germany closed all their nuclear power plants. They are now importers of energy. And the importing that they will be doing will be coming from France. Now, France, obviously, uh, being what they are, France has been very... Uh, very nonchalant, I would say, about not wanting to disrupt anything with some of these countries that are on the U.S. blacklist. Iran, one of them, and uh, obviously with Russia. So, yeah, the Europeans got a little bit scared, and that's why we had our little dip overnight. That dip created this big gap. Big gap, again, I continue to say that we have to respect it on the VIX. Big, big gap up on the VIX. Have no choice but to respect it. SPX, on this dip, as fractional as it is, we will have achieved that 4337. So the first accomplishment has been taken care of. Coming back down to this 4337, 4337 here. And you don't need to be a rocket scientist to do the math. 4448, 4337. It's a 110 point drop. So three gaps above, we still do not have that minus 1% day. And as Gilly shared, which is a tried and true tradition, markets don't bottom on Fridays. So looking for a little bit of a follow through today, which would have us forcibly respecting a lower dip on Tuesday and then getting a move to the bounce for the oversold. Definitely what looks like it's in the cards. And here again on your QQQ, I've drawn a line here just to display how important and significant it is. Equivalent to 4337 over there on the SPX. You've already visited this once, twice, and we are hovering above it here. This is 360.50 on the QQQ, something that should be respected. Because again, we don't have extremely oversold timeframes anywhere. The move down that we've been doing has been wiggling all of our technicals. So it's allowing for a little bit more space, a little bit more space every time that we get a little bit of a dip. But here we are in the QQQ precisely to its minus 10% from all time highs line right there at 432, 431.98. That's exactly what we're looking at here over on the SPX. 43.36.76, which we are fractionally above at the moment. So again, not much to really go over other than the fact that big, big gap over here on the VIX. Yes, right back to our 14.51. And yes, has to be respected while at the same time respecting today is day 21. Day 21 without a minus 1% drop on the SPX, which for today would be 4305. Have a very good morning. I'll see you in the chat room.